All right. So this morning, are we ready to receive the word? Amen. Tanong mo ang katabi mo, are you excited? All right. So this morning, we are continuing with the In Christ Realities. All right. And the subtitle is, I am blessed. Sabi nga natin yan, I am blessed. All right. So to continue with that, all right. Again, um, we came from last two weeks ago, we, we explained about the three covenants. And sinabi ko nga po sa inyo, galing tayo dito sa libro na to because, uh, uh, by the way, this is available. Kaya lang, kakaunti lang po yung stock. Let's see if may maabutan pa kayo sa labas. It's only 100 pesos. But uh, maganda po to because it is scripturally backed up. Yun po ang kagandahan nito. And uh, there's this question lang po na dumating sa akin. Sabi niya, Pastora, bakit yung new covenant started from the... Uh, um, Pentecost, all right, hanggang sa eternity. Well, uh, of course, this is written by Chad Mansbridge and he took it from a historical point of view. Yan po ang sagot. But the benefits and the blessings started from the cross. Pero publicly, it was known na dumating po yung Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost. Kaya dun din po siya ng galing. So just to clear, clarify that, the starting of the blessing started from the cross, all right, Right? But publicly, publicly, uh, ito po ay na-announce, ika nga, alright, historically, uh, at the day of Pentecost. So just in case you're questioning, but ganon, alright? Pero from the cross, available na po yung blessing, available na po yung grace, available na po yung uh, inheritance natin from the cross pa lamang po, okay? Because somebody asked me about that, so I wanted to clarify that. Okay, so this morning, we're talking about in Christ reality. Sabi natin ulit, I am blessed. Ayan. It is so important that we know the truth. Sabi nga sa salita ng Diyos, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. Magiging malaya po tayo pag alam natin ang katotohanan. Napakahirap po pag hindi mo alam ang katotohanan. Do you know that it will affect your decisions, yung action nyo, pati yung pananalita nyo? Maski just for a moment, bigyan ko po kayo ng sample. Pagpasok nyo sa isang room, nakita mo yung kumare mo, kumpadre mo, nag-uusap sila. Tapos narinig mo, nabanggit yung pangalan mo. At that moment, feeling mo, ikaw ang pinag-uusapan. Tapos seryoso yung mukha nila. So, alam nyo po ba, at just that moment, mag-iiba na kagad yung actions mo. Why? Because you don't know the truth. ba? Biglang parang aloof ka kagad, iba na yung tingin mo, may kumakausap sa'yo, iba na yung pananalita mo, ayaw mong umiti. Bakit? Kasi tingin mo, pinag-uusapan ka. Alright? But you don't know the truth yet. Tama po ba yun? So, at that very moment, you are a affected. Why? Simply because you don't know the truth. But after a while, you find out may problema lang pala sila at nabanggit lang yung pangalan mo because you're, you're uh, like kasama ka doon sa usapan and then you find out hindi pala ikaw pinag-uusapan. No problem naman pala. All of a sudden, you start to smile. Alright? Ano nangyari? Biglang dadaldal ka na ulit at hindi ka na affected. Okay? What happened? The truth set you free. Amen? So napaka-importante po na alam natin ang katotohanan why? Because it will uh, dictate your thinking, it will dictate your action, it will dictate the way you speak. Alright? At ang mga desisyon nyo apektado sa katotohanan. So napaka-importante po na alam natin ang katotohanan. And people don't know the truth about themselves. Mabuti kung moment in time lang, apektado ka. Pero kung ang alam mo, hindi ka blessed, ikaw ay mala sa buhay, ikaw walang magagawa sa buhay, all the days of your lives, you will be affected. Amen po ba? Kung ang tingin sa'yo ng tao at tingin mo na rin, tinanggap mo that you are not a, a person who can do much, right? wala ka, you know, wala ka kasi pinag-aralan, then your actions, your words, your decisions will always be affected. Alright? So we should know the truth so the truth can set you free. Amen? And the truth can only be found in Christ Jesus. Tama po ba tayo? Alright? Christ will reveal to you the truth of who you really are. Yun ang totoo, wala nang iba. Alright? That's why we're telling you today, in Christ, you are already blessed. Sabi mo nga, in Christ, I am already blessed. Alright? This was the problem of the eldest son. Tandaan nyo? Pinag-usapan natin yung prodigal son. Akala nung son, wala siyang pag-aari. 
Sabi niya, isang kambing lang nga, hindi mo ako mabigyan, sabi niya sa tatay niya, para mag-enjoy kami na aking mga kaibigan. Little did the son know, the eldest son, that everything that the father has is yours. Amen. Yung pala sa atin na lahat, iniisip natin, wala ako, wala ang laman ng bulsa ko, you know, doon lang nakabas, nakabase, wala akong kakayanan, alright? Little did we know, we are already blessed. Alright? So the truth, you shall know, and the truth shall set you free. Amen? So napaka-importante po na isa-isahin natin kung ano yung mga pagpapala na yun. Because just like the elder son, yung mas matandang anak, dung father sa prodigal son, hindi niya alam kung anong meron siya. Pag hindi mo alam kung anong meron ka, you will not be able to enjoy it. Alright? And this is necessary. I have to tell you this. This is the reason why we come together in church. Because the Lord has a message for you. Alright? Don't miss out on church. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, don't miss out on church. Ha? Yung iba ay may grace na naman, hindi na lang ako mag-church. That is wrong. You know, the Word of God, God has a message for you as a congregation. He has a word for you. Don't miss out on it. Amen? And this is very important kasi... By hearing and hearing the word, what comes? Faith. And faith allows you to experience every good thing that the Father has for us. Alright? Again, pag hindi mo alam, hindi mo may experience. That's why today, although last two weeks ago, we learned how, how the blessing came upon our life in Christ Jesus, dun sa three covenants na yon. But today, alright, we will find out ano-ano ba ang mga blessing na ibinigay na sa atin ng Panginoon. Alright? Pag hindi mo kasi alam, hindi mo ma-experience. Pag hindi mo alam, hindi mo mahihingi. Alright? So you have to know what belongs to you. And you have to know who you are in Christ. Sabi mo ulit, I am blessed. Alright? Not what people tell about you, not what your teachers tell about you, o maski yung magulang nyo, kung mga negative things yan. That is not what is the truth. The truth is what Christ says about you. Alright? There's this child his name is his name is Peter. I mong kung kilala niyo si Peter Daniel. All right? And Peter Daniel when he was a young boy, he came from a very poor family, very dysfunctional. Gano ka dysfunctional pastora? Uh, dalawa nanay niya, apat ang tatay niya. Okay, gano ka dysfunctional. And uh, he came from a third generation of welfare. Ano ibig sabihin noon? Mula pa lang sa lolo't lolo niya, pinapakain na sila ng gobyerno. Hindi sila, wala silang trabaho, so pakain na sila ng gobyerno. Pagdating sa nanay at tatay niya, ganun pa rin. Pagdating sa kanya, ganun pa rin. Pakain lang sila ng gobyerno dahil sa sobrang hirap nila. Alright? And because of that, alright, he did poorly in school. Alright? He was a weak boy. Mahina ang kanyang kalusugan. Alright? And then, he did poorly in school that it cost one of his teachers. Anong pangalan ng teacher niya? Si Miss Phillips. Right? Si Miss Phillips got angry with him. Sinampal po siya as a child. At ang sabi sa kanya, Peter Daniels, you are a very bad, bad boy. Sabi sa kanya ganyan. And you will never amount to anything. Alam niyo po, yung mga words daw na yon was like a self-prophecy. Siya po ang nag-fulfill nun sa buhay niya. Bakit? Pinaniwalaan niya. Pinaniwalaan niya dahil ganun ang family background niya. Tapos sinabi pa sa kanya ng teachers, don't get me wrong, not all teachers are like that. Alright? May mga mabubuting teachers na marunong mag-encourage. But there are some people who are like that. They say, pag poor ka sa school, wala kang pag-asa. Ha? Hanggang dyan ka na lang. Okay? So they say all these bad things. So, itong batan to, to the age of 26, he was virtually illiterate. Ano po yung illiterate? No read, no write. Umabot siya sa edad na yun. Alright? But, in his book, ayan, ibig sabihin, nag-rise nag up siya. I like, I'd like to read what he said. In his book, he said, As long as God, the good thing is, he found God. Alright? As long as God continues to give breath, to mankind, the unexpected will happen. Yung mga hindi mo daw in-expect, mangyayari. And to the surprise of some, magugulat pa ang marami, sabi niya. The least, yung pinakamababa, 
Ha? Dahil nagbibigay ng hininga ang Panginoon, sabi niya, yung pinakamababa may become the leader. And the worst, yung pinakagrabe na ang sitwasyon, may become the best. And sabi niya, the poor may become the rich. Sabi niya, I have seen in my lifetime enough surprising achievements from what many would call underachievers. Yung daw mga underachievers ay nagkaroon po ng surprising achievement. Yun ang sinasabi niya. To say with sincerity and with vigor that the Mr., yung mga tipo ni Mr. and Miss Phillips, they are all wrong. Ibig sabihin, yung mga tao daw na nasasabi, ikaw, bata ka, wala kang pag-asa, you will never amount to anything, sabi niya, mali sila. Hindi totoo yon na kung mahirap ako, kung ako'y sakitin, ako'y uh, walang uh, kagalingan sa eskwelahan, ay wala ako mararating. For many years, he believed that and he fulfilled that in his life. Naniwala siya sa sinabi ng kanyang teacher. Pero sabi niya, I have proven and I've seen so many things in life. Sabi niya, they are wrong. Sabi niya ganon. Sabi niya dito, and let me read. Sabi niya, today, of course, I fly around the world uh, live a lifestyle of wealth and privilege, prestige. I lecture to the great universities. Imagine, ang illiterate na 26 years old. No read, no write. Nagle-lecture sa mga universities, sa Oxford, Harvard, all right? And I, I lecture on business attitudes, finances, and management. I act as a consultant to industries as one of the highest paid speakers of the world today and see my books, yung kanya mga videos purchased by the hundreds of thousands of people all around the world. And sabi niya, I can say with proof and with purpose, sabi niya, Miss Phillips, you were wrong. Okay? So, ano yung sabihin to? Yung mga nagsasabi sa atin, nagbigay sa atin ng script na ikaw walang magagawa, mahirap ka lang, wala kang edukasyon, walang mangyayari sa buhay mo, mali sila. That is not the truth. Amen? Alright? So, siya po, nung nakilala niya si, si Jesus, dun po nagbago ang buhay niya. This is none other than Peter J. Daniels. He's a billionaire. Alright? He, he's in real estate and a lot of businesses. Napakadami po ng businesses niya. And, um, he is a super achiever, alright? But his beginnings was really bad. Pero hindi ibig sabihin, mag, hindi maganda ang beginning mo ay tuloy-tuloy na gano'n ang buhay mo, alright? Nasa Panginoon ang ating pag-asa at nasa Panginoon ang katotohanan. Amen? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, I am blessed. And that is the truth. And if you know the truth, the truth will set you free. Alright? Let's go to John chapter 14 verse 6. Sabi po dito, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, sabi natin the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alright? So gusto natin malaman ng katotohanan, you go to Jesus to find out what is the truth about me. And praise God, in our series in Christ's reality, we will know them one by one. Minsan po sa series natin, three by three. Four, four, uh, uh, four uh, points, all right? But we'll find out today that we are already blessed. We have to find out or know the truth that our true identity, sabi natin, my true identity is in Christ. Who Christ is, is who I am. Sabi natin yun, who Christ is, is who I am. Alright? Because Christ is in us and we are in Christ Jesus. Okay? Again, the upward call. Sabi natin lahat, upward call. Ang upward call po is an invitation for you to forget the what? The past. So kung may nagsalita sa inyo ng hindi magaganda, walang mangyayari sa iyo, hanggang dyan ka na lang, alright? Walang mangyayari sa buhay mo, that is now in the past. Forget the past and then what? Reach forward to the things that are before. Do you know what is before us today? It is the truth of who you are in Christ Jesus. Alright? Know the truth and the truth will set you free. Alright? And then press towards the goal. Alright? So press. What do you mean by press? You stand on it. Ha? Eh, pastora, wala mo na makitang blessing sa bahay. Wala nga laman yung pitaka ko. You stand on the truth that you are blessed regardless of your situation. Alright? So, yung sa katabi mo, believe and you will receive. 
Okay? Alam nyo sa mundo, sa mundo po, ang style ay ganito. To see is to believe. Pero sa, sa Panginoon po, to believe is to see. Huwag niyo po isipin, pag hindi ko nakita yung pera sa bulsa ko, yung pera sa bank account ko, then I will not believe. That is wrong. Alright? Sa mundo, yan ang kaalakalan. Pero sa Panginoon, to believe is to see. Alright? I would like to give an example like our lot today. Alright? How many years ago did we believe for that? 12 years. Okay? Ang tagal naman, Pastora. Does it matter now? <laughs> Not anymore. It's already ours. Okay? So, ganun lang po yung iba kasi pag sinabi na, ang tagal kasi, Pastora eh. Kaya ayoko na, napagod na ako. Alam nyo, yun lang po ang huwag natin gagawin, mapagod. Alright? The moment you believe, the Word of God tells us, you already have it. Alright? The moment you believe, hindi pag dumating na. Alright? Actually, there was this person who asked me, sabi sa akin, A pastora, describe to me, sabi sa akin, how did it feel yung moment na inabot na sa'yo yung, uh, yung title ng lupa at binayaran na? How did it feel? Gusto niya malaman yung moment. And sabi ko sa kanya, actually, sabi ko, uh, it was good, I was thankful, I was happy, but when I believed the first time, I was already excited, I was already happy. Sabi ko, hindi, na, hindi parang, you know, it's another big deal. No, it's the same. Okay, so what I'm trying to tell you is the faith journey is exciting as well. Huwag niyo isipin, pag dumating na yung lupa, tsaka ako magiging masaya. Of course not. The moment you believe, let me tell you, according to the Word of God, the moment you believe, the moment you have faith, that is the evidence of things that you haven't seen. Alright? That is the proof that you already have it. As long as you have the faith, natanggap mo, yes, matatanggap ko yun. Yes, akin na yun. Alam niyo mo ba, nasa yun na yun. That's the truth. Okay, yung manifestation is just about the perfect timing of God. Alright? It's just a perfect timing. Pero yung, yung, yung mismong natanggap ko na ba, nasa akin na ba, nasa yun na yun, the moment you believe. Alright? So it's about believing first and then you will see. Alright? So it's not more exciting. The journey was exciting. Okay? And yung pong dating po nung lupa, it was, I was thankful, all right? Just like you and me, I'm thankful, all right? But the journey itself was good, okay? Bakit? The moment you believe, you already what? Received, okay? So, ganun po yun. So, again, again, we have to believe who we are in Christ. Kasi kung hindi mo nga, kung hindi mo nga pinaniniwalaan, hindi mo rin makikita sa buhay mo. Okay? Sabi natin let in Christ, I am blessed. Okay? So, those are three covenants na pinag-aralan natin. Abrahamic, Mosaic, and the New Testament covenant. Alright? Or the New Covenant. You have to believe first, and then you will experience it. Okay? So, let's go to the first covenant. Okay? Which says, we are blessed with the blessing of Abraham. Sabihin natin, we are blessed with the blessing of Abraham. Okay? So, kailangan natin malaman, ano ba yung mga blessing ko para naman mahingi ko? Right? Every time we ask, dapat po nasa menu. Hindi tayo pwede humingi ng wala sa menu. So, at least let's find out how blessed we are and what are the blessing. Let's go first to Galatians 3.14. Galatians 3.14 says that the blessing of Abraham, did you know Abraham was blessed? Ha? Sobrang blessed po nitong tao na to. Alright? That the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles. Sino po ang Gentiles? Tayo po. As far as, as far as the Bible is concerned, they are the Jews and we are the Gentiles. Alright? Might come upon the Gentiles in how? Christ Jesus. Alright? Sa isang uh, scripture, through Christ Jesus. So, paano mapupunta sa atin yung blessing? Through Christ Jesus. That we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Okay? So, dalawang bagay po yan. Blessing and the promise of the Spirit. Yung blessing po, in Christ Jesus, and the promise is through faith. Okay? The promise of the Spirit. Okay? And as we all know, Jesus has the perfect pedigree. Siya po yung Abraham's seed. Pag titignan niyo po sa Bible niyo, hindi po sinabi doon Abraham's seeds. 
referring to many. It only says Abraham's seed. And that seed is Jesus Christ. Okay? Now, since you are in Christ, kasama na po tayo sa pedigree ni Abraham. Okay? Kamag-anak na natin siya ngayon. Amen po ba? At dahil ka mag-anak ka na ngayon ni Abraham, ito na ngayon ang mga blessing mo. You should know your blessings so you should you could ask them. Let's go to Genesis chapter 12 verse 1. Dito po nakalista ang pito sa mga blessings nyo. Hindi ko natatawagin blessing lang ni Abraham, ito ay blessing nyo. Pag hindi mo alam to, hindi mo mahihingi, hindi mo malalakaran, hindi mo kasi mapapaniwalaan. So dapat alam mo. Sa tuwing sakdami mo, sa dapat alam mo. Okay? Now, actually there are 40 blessings of Abraham in the Bible. 40. Pero we don't have the time for that. Gusto nyo hanggang mamayang gabi. <laughs> Pwede. But we don't have the time. I'm just going to mention seven of them. Okay? It says here, Now the Lord had said to Abraham, Get out of your country, from your family, and from your father's house to a land. Sabi natin to a land. Yun po ang first natin blessing. To a land that I will show you. Okay, next. I will make you a great nation. That's the second. I will bless you. That's the third. And make your name great. That's the fourth. And you shall be a blessing. Number five. I will bless those who bless you and will curse him who curses you. Number six, and in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Yan po ang pitong initial. Una pa lang, ha, sa 40, una pa lang na blessing. Of course, we all know that Abraham was blessed in cattle, in material things. Lahat po ng pagpapala nasa kanya na. Lahat ng blessing na to, blessing mo na rin. Sabi mo sa katawin mo, blessing mo na rin to. Okay? So, paano po natin i-apply in our life today? Number one, He shows us by His Spirit a land. So, sabi niya, I will show you a land. Para saan po, Pastora, yung land? Alam niyo po ba sa buhay ng tao, isa sa pinakimportanting desisyon na kailangan niyong gawin is to find out where will I live. Lima po yan eh. Sino magiging asawa ko? Saan ako titira? Saan ako magtatrabaho? All right? Uh, anong church ako? Okay? And of course, the first one should be, uh, is Jesus my Lord? Okay? Five most important decisions in your life that will affect you and your family. So kasama po dito, God shows you by His Spirit a land. A land where you will uh, find a wife or husband. A land where you will uh, flourish with your family. A land kung saan ka magtatrabaho. A land kung saan ka magcha-church. Importante po yun. Alright? So yan po ang gagawin ng Panginoon. This is part of the blessing. He shows you. He directs you by His Spirit and shows you that land. Amen po ba? Na-experience po ba natin? Yon. Amen. Okay? Number two, He makes you a great nation. Okay? Now, this is not limited to the biological family. So, sabihin nyo, tatlo lang kami sa pamilya, pastora. Well, let me tell you, you now belong to the heavenly family. Alright? So, He makes us a great nation. Ang mga kapatid po natin, hindi limited sa church na ito. Lahat po ng churches na naniwala kay Kristo, lahat po yung kapatid natin, not only in the Philippines, but all over the world, not only in our timeline, but in their timeline. Amen? So, we belong now to a great nation. Okay, number three, He blesses you. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, you are blessed. Okay? So you have to know all the spiritual blessing and natural blessing ay naibigay na sa'yo. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, humingi ka kasi. Ayan. Pag hindi ka humingi, wala. You have not because you ask not. Yun lang po yun. Okay? So huwag kayo maiingit, humingi ka ng sarili mo. Ha? Huwag mo sabihin, ba't sila may kotse, ako wala. Humingi ka kasi. Amen? Yung iba natataan, baka hindi ako bigyan ng kotse, yan ang pananaw mo sa Diyos. Huwag mong lilimitahan ng Diyos sa pananaw mo. Pananaw mo lang yan. Amen? Eh, pastor, ang tagal na maghintay ka. It shall come to pass. Amen? Believe it today and you have it. Alright? And then what else? Sabi po dito, He makes your name great. Paano naman yun, pastor? Eh, hindi naman ako sikat eh. Alright? Alam niyo po ba, He makes our name great. Well, 
we carry the name of the Father. All of us are named under the Father. Okay? And aside from that, you know, in the natural, kung ito po ay paniniwalaan natin, mangyayari po sa inyo yan. You know, we have some teachers here. Masin, saan po kami lupalo pumunta? Lahat sila kilala. Sister LV. Ay, si ma'am, si ma'am. Lahat na lang kilala siya, di ba? You know, um, we think in a very narrow way, a teacher lang ako, baka hindi naman ako kilala. No, you know, people know you. Mga principals natin, mga barangay captain natin who are here, mga konsehal, you know, they get to have a name, their name's great. Pero alam po, ibig sabihin ito, name that is great, it means also a good reputation. Alright? Great ka nga, sama naman ng reputasyon mo, huwag na lang, di ba? So maganda po na uh, your name is great because you have a good reputation. Ay, mga si Valya, ay, mga kilala ko yan, mababait yan, di ba? Yung mga ganong klase, hindi yung, yung mga yon, naku, sama na ugali ng mga yon. Alright? So he makes your name great in truth because we are all named under the Father. But also in the natural, it can happen if you believe it. Do you believe it? Okay, you have to believe it. Alright? Your name is great, okay? And also by reputation, okay? And then what else? Number five. Ito po, nilalakaran na natin. We are blessed to be a blessing. He makes us a blessing. Alright? Nilalakaran na ito natin ng FCI. Alam niyo kung bakit natin ito nilalakaran? nilalakaran, it's because we always declare it. I tell you, if you keep on hearing and hearing that all these blessings belong to you, lalakaran yan. That's why I tell you, come to church, you know, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Every time you hear, I'm blessed to be a blessing, alam nyo, talaga itong church ito, nilalakaran natin to. Why? We always hear it. Kasi kung lagi natin sabi, my name shall be of great reputation. My name shall be great. Alam niyo ba, lalakaran din natin yun. Kung ano yung lagi nyo naririnig. Alright? Faith comes for it. Ano yung blessing? Isipin niyo mabuti. Ano yung blessing na gusto niyo mangyari sa buhay niyo? Yun ang lagi niyong pakinggan. Yun ang lagi niyo i-declare. At yun ang inyong lalakaran. That is the truth. Okay? That's why we need to hear the blessings. Ano ba yung na-inherit natin through Jesus Christ in the Abrahamic covenant? Alright? This is all part of it. Alright? So we are blessed to be a blessing. And that is already true in us. Okay? Number six, He will bless those who bless you. Ang sarap nun, di ba? He will bless those who bless you. You know, let me just testify. Uh, just a few weeks ago, a brother texted me kasi nag-social the week before. Sabi niya, Pastora, I'm now receiving the initial harvest of my seed sown to you. Alam niyo, saan po ako natutuwa? I'm, I'm so thankful that he sowed the seed in my life, but I am more grateful na nag harvest siya. Kasi tatandaan natin, mas malaki ang harvest kesa sa seed sown. Ay isang butong mangga, sabi nga ni Brother Bob, hitik sa bunga, alright? Tiklis-tiklis pag namunga. So, uh, when somebody blesses you, laking tuwa nila dahil pinagpapala sila. And they know why. Because they blessed you. And you know why. Kaya kayo, huwag kayong tatanggi sa pagpapala. Dati po tumatanggi, ay huwag na sis, naku, huwag na sa'yo na yan. Magilig po akong gumanyan. Kaya lang na-realize ko, nung nag-sow ng seed, grabe, ibang klase yung nangyari sa buhay niya. Buhat nun, di na ako tumatanggi. Sige, bigay nyo lang. Okay, ganun na po ako. Bakit? Because this is the promise of the Lord. This is our inheritance. This is our blessing. What? He will bless you. For those, He will bless those who bless you. Amen? Huwag kang tatanggi sa blessing. Amen. Okay, number, number seven. Oh, I have to say something about God does not curse. Kasi sabi, He will bless those who bless you and He will curse those who curse you. Okay, so how would we put it? Because God does not curse. Okay, that is not of God. That's not His nature. Ito po ang gagawin natin. Pag may kaaway kayo, huwag kayong gagante. Ito lang ang sabi ni Lord sa kanyang salita, Vengeance is mine. Now, the vengeance of the Lord is not like our vengeance. Tayo gusto natin sakalin yung tao, si Lord, okay, babaguhin ang puso. Alright? So, magbabago yung, kung may sinabi man silang hindi magaganda sa inyo, ito napatunayan ko na po, huwag kayong gagante. And all of a sudden, their hearts are turned. And all of a sudden, they're so sweet and so nice to you. Bakit? 
It's the Lord's doing. You did not lift a finger. Ito tinatawag na rest. Ha? So yung sakta mo, huwag kang gaganti. Huwag kang, ga- kang magpaplano na maski ano sa kaaway mo. I tell you, their hearts will be turned around. I've seen that several times in my, la- my life. Okay, huwag, not a finger. Not a finger. Mi huwag mo duduruin. Okay? Tandaan mo, vengeance is the Lord's. At yan ay nasa New Testament. New Testament yan. Sabi niya, vengeance is mine. Okay? Hayaan niyo si Lord. Makikita niyo kung paano magbabago ang kanilang mga puso. Okay? And then number seven. Families will be blessed through us. Again, that comes in part with I'm blessed to be a blessing. Alam niyo po sa FCI, ang dami na po natin mga pamilyang pinagpapala. Doon lang po sa ating daily vacation Bible school, alright? Ang dami pong pamilya na pagpala, alright? So you have become a blessing to those families. More than the food that you gave, more than the money that you gave, but the word that you shared to those children, tatak na po sa puso nila yon, And they will have... Uh, a, families affected by their lives. Amen po ba? So yan po ang seven, seven lang po out of the 40, okay, you can do your own research, but seven only of the 40 blessings that we have because Jesus has the perfect pedigree, therefore your pedigree is also perfect. Amen? So yan po, I am blessed because of Jesus. Okay, now let's go to the Mosaic blessings. Ha? Kung may blessing tayo kay Abraham, kay Moses, nakatanggap din tayo ng ating blessing. Bakit? Dahil ba sa ginawa mo, hindi pa nga tayo buhay. Alright? Dahil lang sa ginawa ni, Chris, ni Cristo Jesus. Sabi mo, all because of Jesus. Okay? Jesus gave the perfect performance. Kung kay Abraham, ginawa niya perfect pedigree, tayo naman sa kanya in the under the mosaic uh, covenant it's the perfect performance Jesus obeyed the law to the dot to the jot ibig sabihin wala siyang nabali maski isa perfectly Jesus performed and because you are in Christ all the blessings under the mosaic law is also for you okay sa iyo na ngayon lahat yon ano po ang mga blessing na ito okay let's go there in Deuteronomy 28, Deuteronomy 28, verse 1, and this is the original, um, original statement. Sabi dito, now it shall come to pass if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord. Kailangan diligent ka. Obey the voice of the Lord your God to observe carefully all. Sabi natin lahat all. Dapat lahat ng commandments magawa mo. Right? Uh, carefully all His commandments which I command you today that the Lord your God will set you high above all nations of the earth. Okay? Now let me tell you, Jesus did it all. So wala ka ng problema. Sabi mo sa mo, wala ka ng problema. And in Christ, it's as if you did it all as well. Okay? So what else? And all this blessing, ito yung pangalawa, shall come upon you and overtake you. Sino dito gusto? Iyo overtake siya ng blessing. Amen? Nauna na sa iyo. Wala ka pa doon. Nauna na. Di ba mas maganda yon? Alam niyo, when I went to Japan, when I went to Japan, uh, the week before, Sabi ng classmate ko, grabe, ulan ng ulan. Ang hirap mag, mag-iikot daw dahil nakapayong pa sila. Giniginaw na sila, nakapayong pa. You know, it's so hard to, to travel. But, and I was thinking, ay talaga, maulan pala. So sabi ko, bibili na lang tayo ng payong doon. Pagdating namin doon, the, the weather was perfect. Of course, maginaw. Yun naman ang hanap natin, di ba? Makapag-apat ka bang patong, okay na yun. So, yun ang hanap mo. The, the weather was perfect. There was one day na umulan po, pero that was the day I decided to stay in the apartment. Okay? Nag-stay lang po ako doon. I decided to rest kasi grabe po ang lakaran doon. Talagang lakad. Oh, hindi naman po ako sa isang ganong kalasing lakad sa kanya ng MRT. But you know, it's so good to stroll there because the people are so disciplined. Okay? Hindi na kailangan ng isang presidenteng napakahigpit para gawin yon. They are just disciplined. You know, I realize what they have. They have respect for themselves. That's why they respect others. Pag dadaan ka sa kanila, tumutungo pa sila. Pag magkasabay ka sa pinto, talagang tutungo, tapos gaganyan pa sila sa'yo. You know, they're so respectful. And you know, again, I know you'll be voting for some presidents and vice presidents. 
But let me tell you, change really begins with the man in the mirror. Ha? Ibig sabihin kayo, hindi ko, kasi parang gusto nyo, yun ang mag hataw sa inyo para tumino tayo. Hindi eh. Dapat sa atin magsimula yun, hindi sa ibang tao. Alright? So, I'm not gonna say who's I'm, I'm gonna vote, but yon Okay? So, what I'm trying to tell you, hindi nasa presidente yan, nasa tao. Yun ang point ko. And we who are in Christ, we should be disciplined people. Amen? Alright? Hindi yung tapo ng tapo, nandun ka sa bangko, ang liit-liit na papel, hello, ibulsa mo. Amen? Hindi ko maintindihan yung kalit-lit na papel, tatapon mo sa sahig. Sino napili mo yung sahig? ba? Diba? Hindi ko maintindihan. Ah, dumi-dumi ng bangko. Yung bahay na natin magawa. Tapos gusto nyo si Duterte. Hello! Kung kayo, hindi nyo kaya disiplina yung sarili nyo. Gusto nyo may humataw pa sa inyo para lang madisiplina kayo. That's foolishness. I think that's so fake. That's so fake. You want a president who's so disciplined to discipline you? Disiplinahin mo muna ang sarili mo. Nasa kalye ka, sa toll gate, hello, kapirasong papel, tatapon mo doon? Nabili mo ang kalye? And then your children do the same thing. One time here in Imos, nagdadrive ako, abay, abay, bata ba naman nagtapon ng, ng balat ng burger at yung baso niya ng coke, itinapon sa, sa, sa bintana. Sabi ko, grabe, bata yon. Sa nakuha ng bata, sa nanay at tatay. All right? It's not with the president. It's with us. Huwag kayong magdidikit ng chiclet sa ilalim na upuan nyo. Hello? Nililinis namin yan ng mga riders. Nakakita tayo ng piece of paper. You know, I just don't know why people would just throw trash. Ito pa yung dumudura. Hello? Saan nyo nakuha yun? Yung dumudura sa kalye? Hindi nyo ba pwedeng lunukin na lang yan? I mean, why mess the street? Just mess yourself up, you know? Where do you get that vice? I mean, that habit, bad habit. Hindi ho maganda yun. Okay, so we are blessed. Sabi mo ulit, I am blessed. And if you're blessed, you know, you respect yourself and you respect others. Ha, natutuwa ako sa Japan kung saan sa lang, yung mga, yung mga bisikleta nila nakapark na maayos, walang kandado. Yung basura nila, hindi mo kang basurahan. Parang gusto mo iuwi, pakita mo sa Pilipinas, ang ayos na, ang linis! MRT nila, wala man lagkit sa sahig. People have respect for themselves. Okay? That's why they respect others. Let it begin in you, the change. Not from the president. Amen. Alright, so let's continue. It says here, and all this blessing shall come upon you, overtake you. Na una pa sa yon, because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Of course, Jesus Christ did this for us. He obeyed the voice of the Lord our God. And then number three, blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the country. Wherever you are, you are blessed. All right. Alam niyo dito pagpunta ko nga dun sa 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 place na yon. Yung pangatlong araw nagpahinga po ako. Sabi sa akin nung uh, kaibigan ko, buti na lang, hindi ka sumama. Grabe, for the first time, kasi ilang beses kami nag-MRT, late yung mga train. Ang tagal dumating ng mga sasakyan. Hindi namin alam bakit. Ang, ang ano nila, theory nila, baka may nangyari daw sa, sa railway. But um, the thing is, ang tagal daw for the first time. Sabi ko, well, in my mind na lang, hindi ko sinabi sa kanila. In my mind, sabi ko, hindi, kung kasama niyo ako, maagang dadating ang train, okay? It changes everything, okay? So, blessed shall be the fruit of your body. So, hindi lang po yan sa panganganak, kundi sa mga gawa natin, sa mga ginagawa natin. The produce of your ground, kung kayo may mga pananim, alright? Kung nasa agriculture kayo. And the increase of your herds, the increase of your cattle, and the offspring of your flocks. What is this talking about? Blessed is your business. Sabi mo, blessed is my business. Alright? Why? Because of Christ. You can declare over your business, pinagpala ang aking negosyo. Amen? Huwag mo sabihing matumal ang negosyo. Amen? 
All right? You can declare this over your business. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. That's the fifth one. And yeah, it has something to do with food. You will have much food in the house. Sa refrigerator nyo, punong puno. Amen? Blessed shall you be when you come in and blessed shall you be when you go out. Amen? Lahat ng pintong papasukin mo, blessed ka paglabas mo, blessed ka na naman. Has it ever happened to you pagdating nyo, tuwan-tuwa nyo, uy, buti dumating ka! They're so blessed. Alright? Hindi yung, uy, bakit ka dumating? <laughs> Wag ganun, di ba? Yung masaya ka that when you come in, people are blessed. At pag hindi ka nakapunta, sayang, wala siya. Why? Because you bring the blessing. Amen? When you come into a restaurant, unang walang laman. Pero bago ka umalis, punong-puno na. You brought the blessing. Amen? You have to live in that mentality. Why? Because it's the truth. So, ibig sabi mo, it's the truth. And the truth shall set you free. Amen? And then it says here, The Lord, ito maganda to, parang inulit lang doon kay Abraham, The Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before your face. Sa harap mo mismo. Kakainin nila lahat ng sinabi nila. Babalik sa kanila lahat ng sinabi nila. Amen? Alright? And it says here, They shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. Magkukumahog silang lumayas. Amen? What else? That's the seventh. Okay, the eighth, The Lord will command the blessing on you in your storehouses. Of course, one of the storehouses is the church. Alright? Our church is blessed. Amen? Sabi nga natin, our church is blessed. Okay? And, sabi dito, in all to which you set your hands. So, your hands are blessed. Amen? Everything you touch is blessed. And He will bless you in the land which the Lord, your God, is giving you. Okay? The Lord will establish you as a holy people to Himself. Sabi natin, I am holy because the Holy Spirit is in me. Now, what makes you holy is the Holy Spirit. It's not anything that we do. Alright? Maski lumuhod ka buong araw, that doesn't make you holy. What makes you holy is because we have the Holy Spirit in us. Okay? Just as He has sworn to you, if, ito nga po yung original, if you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in His ways, praise God, Jesus kept all the commands and walked in all His ways. Kaya tayo, we have perfect performance. Okay? Then all peoples of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord and they shall be afraid of you. Alright? Nara mo ba nagsasabi sa inyo, Uy, malakas yung kay Lord. Pag pray mo naman ako, alam ko malakas yung kay Lord. Di ba? Yung mga ganong salita. They know. Alright? They know it. And the Lord will grant you plenty of goods. Sabihin natin, plenty of goods. Okay, tandaan nyo, ito ang inheritance nyo. Ha? Huwag nyo pinaniniwalaan yung mga kakulangan. Alright, believe that you have it. The more you believe it, the more you hear it, the more you will experience it. Okay? Sabi mo, eh pastora, ba't hindi pa nangyayari sa akin? Alam mo bakit? Kulang ka pa sa pakikinig. Yan ang masasabi ko. Because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. Kung makikita mo, kulang pa mga kailangan mo sa bahay, kulang ka pa sa pakikinig. Faith has not yet come. Amen? Faith is our currency. It is the hand that reaches to the grace of God. Lahat ng biyaya ng Diyos, lahat ng inheritance natin, papano mo maaabot? Through faith. And how do you have faith? Faith comes by. Patuloy na pakikinig ng salita ng Diyos. I tell you, watch out. Ano ba yung kulang sa buhay ko? Kulang pa ako sa area na to. Prosperity ba? Kagalingan ba? Kulang pa ako doon. Makikinig at makikinig ako muli para dumating ang pananampalataya. And when I have faith, then I already have it today. Amen? Alright. Okay, what does it say? In the fruit of your body, in the increase of your livestock, and in the produce of your ground, in the land of which the Lord swore to you, uh, to your fathers to give you. Ito po yung lagi natin din declare sa umaga. The Lord shall increase you more and more, you and your family. Alright? Yan po ang declaration natin. So I believe with all my heart, you are increasing. Amen po ba? Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Okay? What else? The Lord will open to you His good treasure, the heaven. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, laging open ang heaven. The heaven does not close on you. Sabi na iba, pinagtakpan ako, tabunan ako ng langit, mali po yun. Hindi na sumasara ang kalangitan sa atin. Ever since Jesus made the perfect obedience, perfect performance of the law, heaven has always been open to you and I. 
Amen? Hindi na ako sumasara ang kalangitan. Eh may ginawa ako, pastora, hindi na sumasara. Alright? Okay? And it says here, To give the rains to your land in its season and to bless all the work of your hand. In ulit ulit. That's a good repetition. I like that. You shall lend to many nation, but you shall not borrow. Let me tell you, hindi humasamang magpahiram. Pag-pray nyo lang muna bago kayo magpahiram. But hindi humasama. Kasi may nagtatanong sa akin from the bank or people who have this business, ay, nagpapahiram ako eh. Alright? Uh, hindi po masamang nagpapahiram. Okay? Pag-pray nyo lang po. That's the wise thing to do it. And then, what else? Number 13, And the Lord will make you the head. Lagi ka at the top and not the tail. You shall be above only and not beneath. Alright? How? If you heed the commandments of the Lord, your God, which I command you today, and are careful to observe them. Praise be to God, Jesus Christ has done it all. He obeyed every commandment. He carefully observed them. That's why you and I, we have the perfect performance. Amen? So, you know, I am in Christ. I am blessed to be a blessing. Amen. Praise God. And the last part, okay? Nandito na po tayo dun sa New Covenant Blessing. Now, let me tell you before I leave the New Covenant Blessing. Every blessing po na natanggap natin from the Abrahamic Covenant and the Mosaic Covenant, this will not be affected of whoever the president will be. This is beyond the governance of the Philippines. Alright? Maski maghirap ang Pilipinas, okay, mayaman ka pa rin. Amen? Maski may korupsyon, pinagpala ka pa rin. Amen? This is beyond the governance of the Philippines. This is beyond the governance of the world. This is heavenly governance. And the one governing it is none other than our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. So, wala kang katatakot, okay? Okay, new covenant, blessings. Kailangan alam mo. Sabi mo sa katay mo, kailangan alam mo. And this one we have for uh, this past year and even last year, we have been talking about this. So I believe you are strong in this. All right? What are they? Number one. Okay, 12 po ito. And I'll just go through it fast. Okay, number one, God forgives all our sins. Sabi natin, all. Lahat, walang natira. Okay? Ma malaki, maliit. Alright? Lahat po yan, pinatawad ng Panginoon. And uh, do we have the scripture for this? Matthew 26, 28. Makikita nyo po. For this is my blood of the new covenant. New covenant po pinag-uusapan. Which is shed for many for the remission of sins. So lahat po ng kasalanan yan. That's also found in Acts 13, 38. Alright? Therefore, let it be known to you, brethren, that through this man is preached to you the forgiveness of what? Of sin. So lahat po ng kasalanan natin, pinatawad na po. And Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Pag sinabi bang tinake away na yung sin, nasa iyo pa yung sin? You may be sinning, but the sin nature is no longer yours. What was removed from you is the sin nature. Alright? Binago. You're a righteous man sinning. You're a righteous man making mistakes. But you are no longer the sinner. Okay? Binago lahat yan ng ginawa ni Kristo sa krus ng Kalbaryo. Amen? Number two, God remembers our sin no more. Sinabi po sa Hebrews 8.12, their sin, okay, for I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their lawless deeds. What? I will remember... No more. Maski paalala mo pa kay Lord yan. Sabi niya sa'yo, sorry, I don't remember. And then Lord, kanina lang, sorry, I don't remember. Okay? So, that's His, that's his covenant with us. Pangako niya yan. Ha? Covenant yan. Agreement yan. Hindi niya natatandaan ang iyong kasalanan. Again, this is not an encouragement for you to sin. Eh, hindi naman pala natatandaan nila. Gagawa na lang ako. Eh, bahala ka. Gusto mo magbing putik. Ha? Babalik ulit sa putik. Tinanggal ka na nga sa putik. Amen? This is not an encouragement to sin. Amen? This is to show you how good our God is. Amen? Okay? And then God promises never to be angry with us again. In Isaiah 54 verse 7, number 3 na po tayo, God promises never to be angry with us again. Even in Isaiah back then, it was prophesied. It says here, For a mere moment I have forsaken you, but with great mercies I will gather you. Okay? With a little wrath, I hid my face from you. 
for a moment, but with everlasting kindness, I will have mercy on you, says the Lord, your Redeemer. Okay? So, ang covenant natin po sa Kanya is an everlasting covenant of love and peace. Okay? God will never stop doing good to you. Number four. Number four na po tayo. God qualifies us. So you know, I am qualified. Colossians 1.12 says, Giving thanks to the Father who has qualified us to be partakers of what? The inheritance. Lahat na po ng inheritance of the saints in the light. Alright? You did not qualify yourself. God qualified you. Wala ka na magagawa. Qualified ka na. Eh, Nick, may kulang pa ako sa requirements. Sorry. Qualified ka na. Okay? That's how good our God is. Okay? What else? Number five. Jesus takes hold of us and never lets go. Sabi mo, nothing can separate me from God. Nothing can separate you from God. Okay? Nothing. Sabi natin lahat, nothing. Okay, wala na po. Wala na po mga paghihiwalay sa atin. You'll find that in Philippians. But let's go to number six. Number six na po tayo. God credits us with perfect righteousness of Jesus. Pag kinredit lang sa'yo, ibig sabihin, hindi mo tinrabaho yan. Basta binigay lang sa'yo yan. Alright? You had nothing to do with it. You were just made righteous, okay? And it's the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Okay, you can find that in 2 Corinthians 5.21 for your reference. Kung nagtataka kayo, nasa Bible ba yan? Yes, 2 Corinthians 5.21. Number seven, God gives us the Holy Spirit to teach us, right? So everywhere you go, there's a teacher inside of you. Amen. And it's an earnest. If you're earnest, babalikan ka, nag-down payment na siya, babalikan kita. Amen. Walang bawian yan, babalikan kita. Okay? That's number seven, blessing. Number eight, blessing. God is for us. Alright? God, in Romans 8.31, sinabi po, God justifies us and there is no more condemnation. Sabi mo, God is for me. Who can be against me? Amen? So, wala nang judge na pwede ibaba ka because God is for you. Number nine, God is with us. Alright? So, because of, the, of Jesus, the door to the throne room is always open. Okay? You can approach Him boldly. Sabi natin lahat, boldly. With confidence, you can approach the Lord our God. Number ten, God empowers us to overcome the enemy. Okay? Ano man ang ginagawa ng kaaway, puro deception lang naman po yan. Huwag kayong maniniwala. Be empowered by God through His Word and by the Holy Spirit. Okay? Number 11, God offers us His rest. Sa Hebrews po, sinabi po that back in the Old Covenant, para magkaroon ka ng kapahingahan, you have to do this, do this, do this. But in the New Covenant, it's all done. Jesus Christ did it all so you can have your rest. Where are we seated right now? We are seated at the right hand of the Father. Okay? And the twelfth, panglabing dalawa na pagpapala under the new covenant, God gives us eternal life. So, yung sa katabi mo, hindi ka na kailangan matakot sa kamatayan. Alright? There's no fear now in death. Alright? We have eternal life. Eternal life to be with Christ Jesus all the days of our lives, alright? And even after we live here on earth. Amen? So these are the things that we received under the new covenant, alright? And all we had to do is to believe in Christ Jesus. Walang ka-effort, effort. Alright? Alam niyo po, ginawa po talaga ng Panginoon na napakadali. Maski batang maliit, pwedeng tanggapin si Kristo. And the moment you believe Jesus is Lord, sabi natin, Jesus is Lord, that He died for your sin, alright? And then He rose from the dead, God raised Him from the dead after three days, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father. I tell you, Christ is in you, and you are in Christ. And all, sabi natin lahat, all, all the blessing, Abrahamic, Mosaic, and the new covenant blessing, is now yours. Amen? Come on, bless the Lord. Now na. Hindi pa later on pag nagbago ka. Hindi later on pag mas mabait-bait ka na o nagmature ka. Hindi, now na. 
Ngayon na yun. You have to keep on hearing and hearing that so that you can walk in it. Amen? It is when you believe that you have it. Kaya wala pa. Pastor, ba't wala pa? Kasi baka hindi ka pa naniniwala. Pa, paano naman ako maniniwala, Pastor? Keep on hearing and hearing by the Word of God. I tell you, you buy the CD of this, keep on hearing what blessings belong to you so that you can experience all the blessing in your life. Amen? Sabihin natin, I am super abundantly blessed in Christ Jesus. Amen. Come on, let's bless the Lord. Praise God. Alright? So, as the worship team is coming, remember, hindi ka talunan. Hindi ka yung taong walang magagawa. Alright? You have been so blessed by God, there is no reason for you to fail anymore. There's no reason for you to be laging kulelat sa buhay. Amen? You have all the rights all the empowerment to rise above your situation. Walang sitwasyon na pwede maghawak sa'yo at pumigil sa iyong success. Amen. Sabi natin, let I am blessed. Because Jesus is in me and I am in Christ, I am blessed. Amen.